will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad.
words can you sing? You deserve the glory. You deserve and the honor. Lift your hands. I lift. I lift my hands. I'll praise His holy name. chapter 10 because it fits with this story. Without that, we won't know what's happening. So would you please stand for the reading of God's word, which is our custom, unless said otherwise, or told otherwise. Verse 18 of that chapter 10, it says, And the people, the leaders of Gilead, said to one another, Who is the man who will begin to fight against the people of Ammon? He shall be head over all the inhabitants of Gilead. 11, uh, chapter, verse 1 says, Now Jephthah the Gileadite was a mighty man of valor. Somebody say a man of valor. Man of valor. But he was the son of a harlot. That's a prostitute. And Gilead begot Jephthah. Je Gilead's wife bore sons. Y'all see that? So Gilead was married. But he also bore a son named Jephthah from another woman, a prostitute. And when his wife's sons grew up, they drove Jephthah out and said to him, you shall have no inheritance in our father's house. Yeah. For you are a son of a strange woman. You might see another woman, yeah. but a strange woman. Then Jephthah fled from his brothers and dwelt in the land of Tob. Or Tob. And worthless men banded, banded together with Jephthah and went out raiding with him. You may be seated. Today I want to talk about 
They said I was nothing. But God made me something. From something. From nothing to something. From nothing to something. They said I was nothing. But God, he made me something. Isn't that amazing? So this narrative, man Jephthah, man of valor, first was a man of nothing, <laughs> but the son of Gilead. Hmm. God raised up Jephthah yeah. to lead the Israelites to freedom from the 18 years of oppression. Israel Stayed off and on. They were very repetitive when it comes to being in bondage. Right. Why? Because of their disobedience. Right. In order to be a, be a believer in Christ, a believer serving God, yeah. you must learn obedience. Yeah. That's right. That's right. If you are disobedient, it's hard for things to work out for you the way you want it to work out for you. Yeah. Why would God reward you mm -hmm. in your disobedience? Yeah. They're just like our children. Yeah. Yeah. Why would I reward you yeah. if you always get bad markups at school? Yeah. Do that make sense? Yeah. Why would I reward you for doing bad? That's right. That's right. So the same thing here. Out of all the years throughout the Bible, the Old Testament, you'll see Israel in bondage, out of bondage, in bondage. Out of bondage, in bondage, out of bondage. They was a wayward people. All you gotta do is just tell them which way the wind blow, and they with it. You can be lying. You haven't even went outside yet. Don't even know. Have to watch the news, but you can just tell them and they'll believe it. They were gullible, and that's how some of us are. We're gullible. Believe anything we hear instead of finding out facts. But Jephthah, the Gilladite, he was a mighty man of valor. <laughs> Future tense. Past tense, he was a man, he was a man from a heart. A prostitute. Oh, he ain't nothing. He's from a prostitute. He's an outside child. He's nothing. Isn't it something how some folks have counted you out already? Yeah. And you haven't even stepped foot on the land yet. You, you, you just got here and they're already counting you out. Yeah. They already kicked you to the curb. Yeah. You mess up one time, oh, it's over. Yeah. They laugh at you, they talk about you. Brother Joe, that's a song he loved by, by OJ. He said, You smile in my face yeah. all the time. Yeah. You want to take my place. Yeah. Go back yeah. yeah. It's it. a lot of those around. They really want to take your place. Come on, do they don't like you. Because the thing about it, the enemy already, they already know yeah. who you are. They seen you from a distance. They glanced at you from a distance. Yeah. They don't like what you're wearing. And then somehow, just, just by how you present yourself, right. right then and there, they don't even know nothing else about right. you. Oh, he think he better than me. She yeah. think he better. Yeah. 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 Folks, something else. Don't know nothing about. But they drove Jeff down. His own brothers, his own blood. They hated him. Isn't that something? Some of us have folks in our own family. They don't care. They don't care about you. You're almost here. <laughs> but they don't care about you. They don't care if you die tomorrow. That's sad. But that's how it is. The whole saying is blood thicker than water, but really it's not. Sometimes your family is who you make them. Because you can do things for folks in your family and they don't appreciate it. 
Or they can see you doing good and they think you better than them. That ain't how it work. Nobody told you to stay where you are. Nobody told you to not go get your education. Nobody told you to stay where you, where you in that atmosphere. That was your choice. Choices and consequences. That's what we teach our children, right? Bad choices, you get bad consequences. Good choices, you get good consequences. So they drove this man of God out because of who his mama was. <laughs> See, some folks have placed judgment on your life just because where you come from. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of you graduate from HBCUs, but when you submit your resume to that company, they look at it and say, no. Because I don't like where he's from. He's not from Princeton. Not from Harvard. So no. You already been counted out. Have you noticed that? Some folks have already counted out because where you're from, where you were born, you were born in the hood, you already counted out. They even told Jesus, nothing good comes out of Nazareth. What comes out of there? Nothing. Oh, they didn't know the, the Son of Man and the Son of God was coming yeah. out of Nazareth, out the hood. Yeah. But they said, you shall have no inheritance yeah. of, your, of our father. Yeah. Our father that's rich in houses and land. He got all this stuff. Yeah. Our father Gilead. Mm -hmm. But you ain't going to get it because you're not one of us. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. And that's how some children are when their parents pass away. They begin to fight over the wheel and who should get what and who should have this. Who should have that? It's a big mess. Yeah. My wife and I, we better get together and do our wheel. Yeah. So it won't be that. Because yeah. see, you don't want folks. Your own family. Yeah. Ain't even a fight over no mess, man. God has blessed me yeah. with what I have and what I have. The enemy ain't going to take it away. Because God has given it to me. And I don't need yours. But that's sad that families fight over simple, silly things. Materialistic things. So what? He gave you more than me. He left you. It don't matter. Yeah, exactly. Evangelist. One of the richest men in the world said, he said he, he, he's worth 200 and some billion dollars. He said, I'm not leaving my kids nothing. In his autobiography, he said, because they didn't earn it. He said, I'm giving it all the charities. He owns the end railroad and a lot of more companies. Because you didn't earn it, so why should I give it? If you didn't earn something, watch it, God. He already gave you eternal life, but you still praying for this Bentley. <laughs> Preach, Pastor. Yes, yes. He already gave you life, life more abundantly, but you still praying for that three acre home. Come on, if it's for you, it's for you. Yeah. Sometimes we just gotta be happy where we are. That's right. That's right. <laughs> they already said after you've been faithful to a few things, yeah. the little things, yeah. then I'll make you ruler over. Yeah. Yeah. Over many, over much. But his brothers hated him. So he went out and he banded with some more guys. That was like his brothers. He said, y'all are outcasts just like me. See, sometimes you got to get with the outcasts. See, a lot of us want to be with the in crowd. Yeah, yeah. But you got to learn to be with the outcasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because see, 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 the thing about it, God uses the outcasts. He don't really like the ones that's in the in crowd to be used by him. 
See, that's what God does. He said, I'm going to use the one you least expect. Yeah. I'm going to use the weird one y'all call weird. I'm going to use the one that stands out that y'all don't really like. I'm going to use the one that you talk about and beat down. I'm going to use the one that you have ostracized and kicked out. I'm going to use the one that you love to demean and degrade. I'm going to use him. I'm going to use her. Not them. And that's how you got to be. Sometimes you just want to be different. Yeah. I told my little boy, I said, there's nothing wrong with being different. Yeah. God do amazing things with people that are different. Yeah. This little kid at 15 years old just finished his, his PhD yeah. with autism. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they were talking about it. They were laughing at it. Nobody wants to sit by them at lunch. But look how God, God can bring a person out. Somebody how out, he brought me out. He brought me out. He, he brought me out. He brought me out of that miry clay. He, he brought me out of the hole. He brought me out of the ditch. He brought me out of the pit. He brought me out of that place. Oh my God, he brought me. So we banded together with some outcasts. This is why your David does it. David did the yeah. same thing. Yeah. He ran from Saul and he banded with some no good guys hmm. that became his brothers. He said, y'all outcasts, I'm outcast. We're going to band together. Hmm. That's right. That's right. We're going to make our own war. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we some bad boys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see, see, that's how it is. Whenever you're running under the assignment and the power of God, Nothing ain't gonna stop yeah. because you're doing God's will. That's it. That's it. And it came to pass in that fourth verse after the time that the people of Amon made, Amon made uh, war against Israel. Y'all see that? Yeah. So the people that kicked Jephthah out, now in trouble. Yeah. The people of Amon are coming to take their land. Hmm. Y'all see that? Yeah. They making war. And so it was when the people of Ammon made war against Israel that the elders of Gilead went to get Jephthah from the land of Tob. Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. see that? Yeah. Yeah. They said, man, we heard this dude bad. Man, we heard this dude that they used to roll with us just bad. We heard your brother, your brother, y'all brothers from the prostitute that y'all kicked out. It's tougher than y'all. We heard that God is with him. He definitely ain't with us. And he more for sure ain't with y'all. But he's from a prostitute. And y'all condemned him because he was from a prostitute. Y'all said he was a nobody because he's from a prostitute. They said you were nobody. Because you were from the hood. Yeah. They say you were nobody. Yeah. Because you were on drugs. Yeah. They say you were nobody. Yeah. Because you used to run the streets. Yeah. They say you were nobody. Yeah. Because you had an addiction. Yeah. They say you were nobody. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say, but look at me now. Look at me now. Look what God has done, baby. Look at me now. Come on, y'all tell the enemy, look at me now. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You thought I was gone. Yeah. You thought I was dead. You thought I was ostracized. Yeah. You thought I was I was no more. You thought I was no good. You thought I was ugly. You thought I was fun. You thought I was fat. Yeah. You thought I was no good. Oh, my God, but look at me. Yeah. Yeah. Look at me now. Drake wrote a song, started from the bottom. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Yeah. Mike Jones, the Houston rapper, he wrote a song. He said, back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot, they all alone. That's for the young folk. Look at Jeff right now. He said, they didn't want me back then. Yeah. They talked about me. Yeah. They degraded me. Yeah. They put me out. Yeah. They cast me out. Yeah. They ran me off. Yeah. But oh, look at me now. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody holler out and say, look at me now. Look at me now. 
Yeah, I remember those days when I was talked about. I remember those days when I was no good. I, I remember those days when y'all y'all laughed in my face. I remember those days. Yeah, yeah. Somebody say, but look at me now. Look at me now. They don't like it. Come on, no, they don't. But you like it. <laughs> Somebody holler and say, I know you don't like it. I know you don't like it. But I like it. <laughs> look what God is doing now. That's something how God has the capacity yeah. to do whatever he want to do yeah, in your yeah, life. Yeah. How he taken something that was nothing, make them into something. Yeah. It's something how God didn't do it. A nobody, but make them somebody. Yeah. Somebody, my yeah. oh God, somebody ought to give God a shot. Yeah. Yeah. You even thought it was over. You even thought that you were counted out. Yeah. You even believe what the enemy put in your mind. But look at you now. Somebody holler out and say, devil, yeah. you couldn't stop me. Yeah. Hey, he couldn't stop you because God had him. Yeah. Uh -huh. God, God, God. Somebody was praying for you. That's right. That's right. That whole time in the streets, somebody was praying for you. Yeah. That whole time after the food, yeah. somebody was praying for you. Yeah. That whole time with a messed up mind, yeah. somebody was praying for you. Yeah. That whole time while sniffing her, Somebody was praying for you. That whole time while smoking, somebody was praying for you. That whole time while sipping, somebody was praying for you. That whole time while selling it, somebody was praying for you. Somebody was praying. I know it wasn't me. I was far from prayer. Come on now, break it down. Some of us just lean on we more than we lean on God. Yeah. Some of us lean on drugs more than we lean on God. Y'all know how it used to be. Let's keep it real. Some of us lean on women more than we lean on God. Some of us, some of us lean on men more than we lean on God. They keep it real. Some of us lean on the club more than we lean on God. Couldn't wait to drop it like it. Couldn't wait to shake that thing. Back it up, whatever, but, but it's something how now. But something how now how we do it for God. Somebody how about I do it for God? I do it for God. I dance for God. I drop it for God. I do it for God. I don't care what they say about me back then. Right now I'm doing it for God. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I like, real folk. Yeah, real, you gotta keep it real. Yeah, true, you can hide true. in that closet all day if you want to. Yeah. Like you too good. Yeah. But I'll tell you, if I wanna go in your closet right now, right. Oh, there'll be some bangs in there. Yeah. Somebody say some bangs. Yeah. There'll be some bangs in there. Yeah. That'll mess you up. Yeah. There'll be some bangs in there. That'll mess your mind up. Oh, you think they're articulate, all right? You think they're educated, all right? Oh, you think they're holy, all right? But oh, if I go in your closet, somebody say, Pastor, leave my closet alone. I ain't gonna go in. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna open the door. I ain't gonna cut on the light. It's kind of crack. But I ain't no going. Woo! Some stuff in that closet, boy. Some of us got a closet filled with clown. Mm. You can't even walk it. But, 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 but if he says, what we see with the natural eye, yeah. right now. You would think that it's a perfect point. Yeah. But oh, when you open that door, mouths drop. I thought you were going to leave that alone. I had to go back in for a minute. Just a 
child, give them a minute in the car. Give me a minute, let me talk about the car. Because see, some of us think our stuff don't stink. Just because you believe in Christ. Well, I got news for you, baby. Believers in Christ got issues too. A lot of them. Some of us more than the people in the world. But thank God for Jesus that our sins are forgiven. And our slate has been a white clean. Isn't that a blessing? That's my slate. There's no point of keep harboring over your past and your past mistakes. Hey, your slate has been white. That's why God looked at us now as perfect. Because he sees Jesus on the cross. Bearing the, the weight of the world was upon his shoulder. That's right. That's right. And he got up with all power. Mm -hmm. yes, he did. But they hated the man. Yeah. So, and sometimes in life, I know it may be wrong, but sometimes in life. Verse 7. When folks come at you, and they have treated you all kind of bad, treated you any kind of way, Made you a little foot rub. They just stepped all over. Okay. Just because we believe in Christ, we don't let people just step all over. Sometimes you got to stand your ground. That's why I said I couldn't march with Dr. King. X, I can do it. Maybe him to a rock and expect to get away with it. Ain't how I roll. But in that verse 7, something stood out to me. So Jephthah said to the elders of Gilead, did you not hate me and expel me from my father's house, cast me out from my father's house? Why have you come to me now when you are in distress? Isn't this something? How folks can treat, demean you and treat you all kind of horrible and push you down and degrade you and talk about you like you ain't nothing, talk about you worse than a dog, and but suddenly one day comes. Oh, um, do you pay? What they'll call you? I know I'll be. You know who this is. <laughs> Negro. No. You don't feel me? No, I don't feel you. Who are you? It's the intro. You know who this is? No. Don't recognize your voice. What do you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And wherever you are. <laughs> Can I borrow? No. Oh. <laughs> Don't you remember? Yeah. Well, you told me uh -huh. I was nothing. Yeah. And when I was down and you had it, yeah. I asked for something. But you didn't give it. Yeah. But you made fun of me. And you talked about it behind my back. Yeah. You remember that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> See, people start stuttering after a while. Yeah, yeah. They develop a speech impediment. Yeah. And then they, 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 they begin to stutter a little bit. Because now you need me. Yeah. But you hated me. Yeah. He say, I was most hated yeah. in the land of Gilead. Yeah. Because who my mother was. Yeah. She didn't have nothing to do with me but give me birth. Yeah. But y'all hated me for her actions. Isn't there something how some folks can hate you for other folks' actions? Yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't do the crime. Yeah, that's right. You ain't have nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. But because you associate yourself with that person or kin to that person, it's on you too. Folks, I'm eligible.
Lord says, now, y'all hated me, y'all didn't like me, y'all despised me, y'all kicked me out of my daddy's land. Y'all said I wasn't nothing. So now since you've been hearing about God doing amazing things in my life, now since you've been hearing about God doing awesome things in my life, now, you, now that you see that God is with me, because I've been slaying these Ammonites, and I've been doing all this and doing all that with my little poop outcast we have out of my little pot, my pot set. Yeah. My partners, my homies. Yeah. Since we've been doing our thing and being successful, now you want to come to me. Yeah. But it already said in the 18th verse of the 10th chapter that I read first and it says, and the people and the leaders of Gilead said to one another, who is the man who will begin to fight against the people of Ammon? He shall be head over all inhabitants of Gilead. Who is that? That's Jephthah. God already knew who he was going to be before who he was. Y'all got that? The Bible says better is the ending of a thing than the beginning of a thing. Yeah. We don't care how the movie starts off, really. But long as it ends well, yeah. I can sit through a movie, but the ending better be good. Yeah. Oh, my God. Go watch The Woman King. I love it. The ending better be good. Yeah. You gave me a little bit at the beginning, but the ending better be good. Yeah. Then the Bible says God will make it the head yeah. and not the tail. Yeah. A linda and not a barber. Above yeah, and not beneath. God will do it. Somebody say God will do it. And that's what he did for Gilly. Yeah. Oh my God. They hated him. They despised him. They mistreated him. But look, they come running to him. Yeah. Your enemy's yeah. going to come running to you one day. Yeah. And it's up to you how you want to address it. Yeah. But oh, when I address it, because I'm outspoken, I'm going to address it. Yeah. Oh, there you want me. Yeah. With a little sarcasm. Oh, now you need me. Yeah. I thought you said I was nothing. Yeah, yeah. Y'all know who she is. Uh -huh. Y'all know who she was. Yeah. But since I'm an outcast, I'm nothing. Yeah. Oh, now you need me. Yeah. You can't do it by yourself. Yeah. Why? Uh -huh. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm going anyway. Come on, listen. Yeah, yeah. And you got to learn to walk into what God has for you. Yeah. Some of you want to run into it. But sometimes you just got to walk into it. <laughs> So everybody can see. Oh, yeah, you got to walk. Not prance, you just walk. Yeah. Walk cool into it. Yeah. Just cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smooth into yeah, yeah. it. So people can see who you are. Yeah. Who God, what God has done with your life. Yeah. Because they used to see you all messed up. But oh, look at you now. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, they, don't, they can't believe what they see in there. They used to they know the old person. Yeah. The old taco. No, not no more, baby. This is different now. Now you see me in the nice suits. Now you see me looking good. Totally different from what I used to be. Now they see you in a nice dress. Now you see you in a nice heels. Walking and strutting. Knowing what God has done in your life. They counted you out. They threw you away. They said you will be nothing. They said by the time you're 18, you'll be in prison. Oh my God. But look what God has done. Somebody say, God has turned me around. Somebody say, He picked me up. He picked me up. Turn me around. My God has turned me around. He brought me into the newness of life. Oh my God. He has made me the salt of the earth. Oh my God. He has made me a lighthouse on a hill that cannot be hidden. God has turned my life around. You can talk about my past. You can talk about what I used to do. You can talk about how my addictions and all that stuff I used to have. But oh, look at me now. Somebody say, look at me now. God has brought me from nothing to something. Give God a shout in this place. They said, they said I was nothing, but God made me something. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and join our online Christian family. Tithes, offerings, and donations can be made via Cash App 
at dollar sign TVMBC or by mail at True Vine Missionary Baptist Church 1407 Grove Street, Houston, Texas 77020. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.